Today I'm gonna show you how to shoot B-roll of yourself by yourself. We will walk through every shot step by step, so you get the idea of how to film cinematic and creative sequences of yourself at home. First I wanted to start my story with an extreme close-up shot of my smartphone's alarm to show that it's 7.15. Since I don't have a nightstand, I put my phone on a dresser to get this shot. To further enhance the story, I introduced the main character laying in his bed and waking up after hearing the alarm. I put my camera on the side of my bed to get an eye-level perspective. This way I can express and deliver the feeling of being uncomfortable at that specific moment. Since it was a pretty dark condition, I helped myself out with an external light source pointing up to the ceiling. To get the right focus, I set the focus on manual and adjusted it to the right distance before I started recording. I repeated this process multiple times to choose between different takes in the edit. Now I filmed myself brushing my teeth and decided to put my camera into the bathroom cabinet so I can open it and grab my toothbrush from there. By choosing unusual angles or detaching your camera on places you normally wouldn't, you create a lot of engagement and the viewer will stay interested in watching your videos. For the next shot, I pointed my camera directly onto the mirror to show the subject from another angle, in this case with an over-the-shoulder shot. Since I love coffee in the morning, I filmed two different angles of me preparing myself a cup of coffee. The next shot is a simple one where I just sit there, enjoy the silence and do some work on my laptop. For the washing machine shot, I choose my Sony CV1 with a flip out screen to create this unique and interesting looking angle of me throwing my clothes into the device. The viewer won't expect shots like these. That's why you should always include creative angles to keep the viewer engaged throughout your video. To show that I'm starting the machine, I filmed an extreme close up shot of me pressing the start button. The next shot is me hanging up my washed clothes. Therefore, I put my camera directly besides the drying rack and show another wide shot afterwards. If you start a scene with a close-up shot first, you create a little bit of curiosity before you show the viewer exactly what you do or where you are. This principle counts for every kind of scenario. For the last sequence, vacuuming my living room with my robot, I filmed myself detaching my camera onto the guy. Since my camera was too heavy and he always tended to fall sideways, I just lay my camera on top because I found a position where he held the camera perfectly. Unique perspectives like this could lead to a wow effect for the viewer. And like as said before, by delivering shots which others don't expect, you stand out immediately and that's what we are looking for here. There you have it. I hope you liked this closer insights and learned something today. If you want to see more behind the scenes videos like this, let me know that in the comments. Thanks for watching, stay safe.